Material Design Lite, or MDL, gives designers and developers a way to add a material look and feel to their websites based on Google's design guidelines. But what is MDL and what makes it light? I'm Mustafa Kurtuldo, Design Advocate at Google, and in this video I'll give an overview of the material design guidelines, the intentions behind MDL, and the resources we have to help build and develop your own MDL website. Material design guidelines were born out of a need to create a consistent user experience across multiple platforms. Consistency is really important, as people tend to jump from one device to another throughout their working day. For example, while traveling in the morning, they may use a mobile device. At school or work, they'll be on their desktop or laptop, and in the evening they may switch to a tablet. This continuous device switching means applications and websites need to transfer these experiences across different boundaries. For this, we must create a continuous, a ubiquitous user experience, and this is where material design can help. To understand this further, let's take a look at the building blocks of Google's design language. Material design is broken down into three core principles. Material is a metaphor, meaningful motion, and bold, graphic, and intentional. These principles help define the relationship between the user and the UI, which is also called affordance. Good affordance can be the difference between a user naturally knowing how to perform an action in your application or getting frustrated and confused. The first principle, material as a metaphor, introduces the idea that every element in an application is made of a flexible and tangible piece of material, similar to paper. Each piece of material can be any shape, size, has a thickness, occupies its own depth, and can be elevated above other pieces of material to demonstrate its importance, simply by casting a realistic shadow. By using shadows and other familiar things from our everyday experiences in the real world, we can naturally relate to material, and this helps us quickly understand the affordances in our application. The second principle of material design is meaningful motion, which describes how bits of material move and relate to a person's click or touch. Every transition must appear natural and help guide a person to perform a specific task and not simply be decorative distractions. Material can shrink, grow, rotate or move across any axis so long as it does so in a meaningful context. The third principle of material design is bold, graphic and intentional. This principle references the classic standards from print design and will determine how material looks by using typography, grids, space, scale, color, and imagery. Together, all of these principles and design considerations is what we call material design. The material design principles can be applied to any platform, though the guidelines are extremely rich and this can be a bit overwhelming. This is where material design light can help. The reason why we add the word light is because we avoid implementing the full animation support for some of the motion transitions. This means you can ship a fast static site with the material design look and feel. To make MDL available to all developers, the project is open source, so whether you have a content heavy website or a simple static website, you can use MDL. To use MDL, simply link to the CSS file on our CDN and add the relevant CSS classes and HTML markup depending on the MDL components you may wish to use. For example, we have a layout component that is fully responsive and allows you to design and build custom page layouts. We also have a simple small UI components like the progress bar for indicating loading and progress states. Each component has a basic usage with a number of CSS classes you can add to the HTML in order to change the default behavior or styles. You can find out more about MDL components and how they are implemented on our website, getmdl.io. For those of you who want to create a custom theme for your website, we have a color wheel that lets you change the default primary and accent colors of our UI elements. We also have pre-built templates at our website that you can use as a source of inspiration, as well as a showcase section on our website that displays existing sites currently using MDL, such as Google Wallet, Contributor, and Web Starter Kit. Again, all of these can be seen at our website, getmdl.io. So that's Material Design and Material Design Lite, and now you have a understanding of how MDL works, you can craft the perfect website to suit yours and your users' needs. For more information about MDL or material design, you can check out these links. Thank you for watching.